Welcome to the first example of calculating moment of energy of a composite shape. The following shape is composed of two rectangles. That is a T-shaped cross section. The dimensions are 8 by 3 and 9 by 3. Inches. We are required to find out the moment of energy about x axis for the given shape. The axis standard are given as x and y. For the composite shape, we know that we use parallel axis theorem, which equation which we already discussed in the previous video. The first step for a composite shape moment of inertia, we calculate the centroid of the whole shape. That is geometric centroid. Let's call this shape as shape number one. This as shape number two. For simple centroid calculation we already knew the area for this shape is 8 by 3 inches area for second shape is 3 by 9 inches now why is the distance from the point we are considering as reference for shape number one 9 plus 3 by 2 will be the centroid of this shape 9 plus 3 by 2 it is the distance from the reference point to the centroid of shape number 1 now from the same reference point to the centroid of shape number 2 that is 9 by 2 multiplying this term with this term we get and similarly this term with this term Summation of area gives us 51 inch square. And this term sums will be give us 1.5. For locating centroid, we use the formula. get 373.5 over 51 the centroid comes out to be from the reference point locating this on the diagram we get that would be somewhere here 7.323 inches <coughs> this distance will be Subtracting 9 inch from this point, they will give us 7.3 Now for calculation of moment of inertia, we draw a rough figure of this cross section locating centroid which we already calculated 7.323 inches 1.677 inches that is 3 inches given dimension Using the parallel axis theorem, we know that the equation O is
Now we need these terms. I x is the moment of inertia about its own axis or about its own centroid. Shape number one we knew that. And two. One, two. Moment of inertia for shape number one about x axis is 8 multiplied by 3 cube divided by 12. That is b h cube over 12. Simple rectangular formula. Similarly, 3 base is 3 and 9 is height. 3 into 9 cube to 12. That is individual shape number 2's moment of inertia. The area for shape 1 is 8 by 3 and for shape 2 is 9 by 3. Now, the dy is main point of concern. dy is the distance from the whole body centroid to the shape number 1's centroid. That would come out to be 1.5 inches for shape number 1 since it's a rectangle so it would be half and this distance is 1.667 so it comes out to be 3.177 inches and the centroid of the shape number 2 will be at 4.5 inches since it is a simple rectangle so we need this distance from the whole body centroid to the individual centroid the distance would be as 7.323 minus 4.5 the absolute distance this one multiplying a into dy comes out to be 8 into 3 into 3.177 square and this term with this term will give us 9 into 3 into 7.32 minus 4.5 square since we need this term and this term sum in the equation so we get summation of ix equals to 200.25 inch 4 similarly summing up sum of a d y square comes out to be 457.411 inch 4 let's call this as equation number one substituting values in equation number one we get which is the required moment of inertia. Thank you for watching.